Good morning, Padres. How has your day been? Because mine has been great. What? Is there something on my face? No, you look fine. Your outfit just reminded me that there's only 34 calendar days left until graduation. Oh, right. We didn't mean to freak you out or anything. We're just so excited. <laughs> oh, right. Calm down. We've got to get started on the Friday, Friday show. show. Although we had block periods all week, today's regular schedule. If you haven't figured out that out yet, you're probably in the wrong classroom. Yeah, probably. If you have not yet turned in your paperwork for prom, please do so as soon as possible so you can sign up for a bus. If you, if you have already done that and are looking for some way to get involved in prom, enter your song suggestions on my school. You can also nominate two boys and two girls from your grade for prom queen and king on my school. So, Padres, if you are interested in driving but don't have a license yet, you can register at drivecarmel.com for classes that start tomorrow, April 28th and 29th, through May 5th and 6th. When did you say they start again? Tomorrow, Max. Remember? Well, there you have it. Sign up today if you want to participate. So, Rain, we're both in video production. Are you submitting anything to this year's film festival? You know, I am, actually. Thanks for asking. If you're interested in submitting a documentary, open concept film, or narrative, or just enjoy watching student films, here's the segment on Carmel High School's Film Festival. The Carmel High School Film Festival is an opportunity to showcase uh, films made by CHS students throughout the year. A lot of video classes submit their capstone projects, but we also open it up to other filmmakers out there. So if there's students out there who've been working on something, um, they're welcome to submit to the Carmel High Film Festival. The way the Carmel High School Film Festival works is I take a bunch of submissions from student-made films. They have to be, have been made this year. They have to be made by CHS students. They have to be under 10 minutes, so about five minutes is kind of our optimal film. And we put them in three categories. Open concept, which is like music videos, animations, everything that doesn't sort of fit in, in a bubble, and then documentary filmmaking and narrative films. So there's three categories of films they can submit to. We're very thankful for Padre Parents. They've donated uh, $1,000 to us that we give out as prize money. So it's a great occasion to sort of reward and showcase amazing talent of filmmakers that we have at Carmel High School. We hope you can make it to support our fellow classmates. Seniors, time is running out. If you need last minute hours in order to walk at graduation, sign up to volunteer at the Special Olympics next Friday. You will have to have your teachers sign off for it as you attend because it's during school hours. So if you do choose to participate, you could receive up to 10 hours. <laughs> If you missed out on any previous scholarships, the Spread Your Wings scholarship is available for students who plan to attend college out of state next year. The deadline is May 1st, so stop by the College and Career Center to get more information as soon as you can. Pick up your cap and gown while you're at it, if you haven't already done so. As you can see, we're one step ahead of you. Let's check everything off those checklists, guys. If you're looking to be hired for a summer job, we've got your back on that one, too. 
The Carmel Drug Store is looking to hire high schoolers for summer jobs, so head over to apply in person. And if working inside is not enough for you, the Carmel Pool is still looking for swim instructors and lifeguards. For more information, check with Mr. Granbury or the Carmel High website. I'm sure you could ask Logan, too. You know, he saved me from drowning in the desert last week. Anyone interested in becoming a CHS cheerleader next year? Mark your calendars because tryouts are May 12th from 12 to 2. Everyone's welcome. Hope to see you there. The fifth annual Empty Bowls is next Wednesday, May 2nd. Let's see what Miss Vita has to say about that. All the freshman classes and the junior classes have been making bowls. This is a project to benefit the food bank for Monterey County. And what we're doing is making handcrafted bowls and we will be having a dinner. And what this project does is it raises funds for food organizations that uh, works to alleviate food insecurity and hunger. And the Food Bank for Monterey County helps one in five individuals in Monterey County and one in three children. So it's a really important uh, organization. So that's what Empty Bowls is about. We hope you all come. We'll have the singer-songwriters playing. We have restaurant donations of soup. Um, we will have 13 to 15 different soups to try. Um, tickets are $20. Encourage your parents to come. It's also the Carmel High School open house and art show that night. And that's what's happening. Thanks, Ms. Vita. Now let's talk about sports. JV and Varsity Boys Baseball have a game starting at 4 at PG. Good luck, guys. Boys and Girls Swim and Dive vs. RLS is hosted at CHS today, starting at 4 as well, followed by Girls Lacrosse at Stevenson starting at 5.30. Tonight is the Carmel High School Spring Concert in the Performing Arts Theater from 7 to 9 p.m. Anyone interested should definitely attend to support Carmel High School's musicians. Now, Max, are, what are the clubs for today? We have Ethics Bowl in Room 25, Red Cross, Room 37, K-Pop, Room 3, Frisbee on the Football Field, Investment Club, Room 27, and Diversity Club in Room 9. And Legacy in Room 46. Thanks, that was super helpful. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> and there are no birthdays for today. But over the weekend, happy birthday to Cameron Hyura, Alabama Ledbetter, Luke Melcher, Harrison Bolton, Georgia Gabrielson. And Tyson Wilkins. See what I did there? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I got you. That seems to be all the information we have this week, Padres, so keep it classy. And do it live. On, on the, the Friday, Friday show. show. team that everyone gets along and knows how to have fun and win. The highlight of the season thus far was probably beating Notre Dame. The game that people should come to is rather Catalina or PG because they're the most intense. Um, and then once playoffs hit, definitely then too. This is my last season playing softball, but it's really fun to mentor the underclassmen and just be a leader on the team. I'm having a good time this season. Always like being hey, on the field. Yeah, I'm having a good time this season. It's pretty terrible. Uh, it's a long, it's a long hike. I feel if you really want to park up top so bad that you wake up like an hour and a half earlier than most people, it's pretty sad, you know. 
Oh, sometimes you get here around like 6.30. Um, I get here around 7. Like 7.30 about? I get to school around 7.30, 7.20. I don't drive legally. Usually around like 7.40, 7.45. Um, well, yeah, I have to make sure I get there like with plenty of time, so you know, I have to wake up early and it's hard. Not really, because I don't really care about parking on campus, so I just park off campus and get to school when I want to get to school. I would say, yeah, because I wake up and then I wish I could spend more time in bed, and so, but then I realize I have to get up early to get to school to get the parking spot, so yeah, it can affect my sleep schedule. It can be rough and sometimes when it's raining, like my hair and my makeup will get all messed up and it's terrible, so it's not that good. Well, well, well. An unofficial documentary from an unofficial person. <laughs> so in the course of uh, working, I had a lot of different jobs uh, cruising up through the ranks. Uh, one of them was at 7-Eleven. So first night out, it's 10 o'clock at night. I've got uh, my flip-flops on. I'm getting somebody a Slurpee, a pack of cigarettes. And all of a sudden, uh, somebody bolts out the door with a 12-pack of beer. So as any good employee would do, I jump over the top of the counter to go after him. Kept my flip-flop in the magazine rack. Uh, so I lose one shoe. But I get up. I go running out of the store. Can't catch him. Uh, he runs across four lanes of, high, uh, of highway there in, uh, in Detroit. And as I'm Walking back to the store, I realized there's still like five people in the store probably stealing way more than 12-pack of beer while I'm out chasing some knucklehead. So I learned quickly that you mind the store and you let the person go if they're going to do that and run away. So that was a life lesson. Hopefully that helped you. I remember my first day of high school, uh, and I was supposed to have Spanish 1 third period, and the schedule wizard gave me Spanish 3 third period. And I went in there and I struggled through a class period and I was completely lost and I had no understanding of why. Uh, and then I talked to the counselor about it and they changed it to Spanish one third period. Uh, the good part was the schedule was right. The sad part was I still felt just as lost when I entered that class. Brought to you by There Were No Good Solutions. The end. Hello ladies and gents. Today we're gonna to be talking about community service. Let's get started. What is community service? So community service is voluntary service to benefit the community. It's usually carried out um, with civic, nonprofit, and philanthropic organizations. How important is it for everyone to get the community service hours completed? Well, as you all know, at Carmel High we have a 60-hour uh, community service graduation requirement. So it's obviously very important if you want to graduate to get your community service Have done. you completed your community service hours? Yeah really long time ago, freshman year. What kind of community service do you think people should be doing? They should be doing something that correlates with what they want to do. For me, for example, I want to be a music teacher, major in music and all that. So the community service that I've been doing has been music related, such as playing in different groups. And so say somebody wants to do something about the environment, like, I don't know, gardening, volunteering or something like that. like. Volunteering that correlates with what they want to do with their life. Have you completed your community service hours yet? Yeah, you'll know how I did it, Gavin. Yes? Well, you see what you can do is you can go to the PetSmart in San City, right? And you can go to like the front desk and you can adopt a rabbit for a whole month and you can get 30 community service hours. Like there's 30 days in a month, right? And each day is an hour and that's like the easiest like 30 hours you can get in a month, right? And that's how I got my community service hours. Well, I hope you got the information you needed for community service. Make sure you get it completed, especially before the end of the school year.